All right, I'm here with Gerti at Besa, and uh, Gerti runs the show here. Besa is an amazing restaurant here at the corner of Congress and Woodward. Gerti, tell me a little bit about the background of this restaurant. We opened the first week of November of about a year ago, so we're about 14 months old now. Uh, we're a modern American uh, restaurant with a little bit of a Mediterranean uh, flair to it. You know, I love that whole collab with the sort of American and Mediterranean flair. And that's one of the reasons this is one of my favorite places in town. Amazing, we appreciate that. Myself and Chef Nick, uh, we have Mediterranean background, so we, we call our moms pretty often and ask for advice to make sure we introduce that to the cuisine here. Well, look, mom knows best, right? But tell me what you got on the menu for Absolutely. lunch today. For lunch today, I'm gonna to get you started with some of our uh, famous Brussels sprouts, and then we're gonna make sure you try our burger and our chicken paillard sandwich, which is to die for. So this is for everyone. This isn't like, you know, it's a steak place or it's a seafood place. They got it all. All right, so not only is this a great restaurant, but there's also a bar scene here too, right? Right, absolutely. Okay, so um, it's in the Vinton building, which is residential, and the people actually come down from upstairs just to come eat and drink. Let's make a drink. Let's make a drink. What do you like to drink? Well, I like to drink tequila. Beautiful. We'll make a tequila drink. Let's do it. So Gerti, tell me a little bit about this drink. We're using Reposado tequila, a little bit of Salerno, which is an orange liqueur, lemon juice, and a homemade lavender syrup. Everything's shaken together, and then we're uh, garnishing it with a dehydrated lemon slice and uh, some lavender. See how it tastes. Let's try it. Wow. You like it? I love it. It's fruity. It's got like a tiny bitter. It's got the tequila. And I could drink this all night. Well, you can start with our happy hour. We have a happy hour that starts at four o'clock. That's one of our happy hour drinks. Bruce, here we go with our uh, chicken paillard. We're gonna serve that with our house salad. Then on the chicken sandwich itself, we're uh, doing some shade ravish, some avocado, some feta cheese, um, some uh, Detroit grown pea shoots. It's delicious. Mm, that's a good stop, man. Nice. Let me tell you, first of all, the chicken, it's like cooked perfect. Thank you. Then the garnishings, you can just taste them subtly. And is there some sort of, oh, the feta cheese. The feta cheese. Right. The feta mm. cheese just takes it over the top. All right, there, there's something about the bread, Gerti, that is so good. It's crunchy, soft. What about this bread? I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's uh, a bolia roll. It's a Mexican uh, bread that we get from a local uh, Mexican bakery here in Detroit. That's awesome. I gotta tell you, and it's local, makes it even better. Anything Detroit is better. I agree. Here we go to our Brussels sprouts. Whoa. They Brussels look great, sprouts. don't they? I gotta be honest with you. I don't like Brussels sprouts, but if you say they're great, then I trust you. I promise they're great. Um, maybe tell me a little bit yeah, about them. Yeah, absolutely. They're, they're uh, deep fried and then we toss them in a, a delicious chili glaze so they have a little bit of a kick to it. Uh, we finish them with uh, some Rice Krispies. Ooh, Rice Krispies. Thai mint and basil. Who doesn't like Rice Krispies? I am not sure. Is this Never the basil? That is the Thai basil and the mint. Cheers. Mmm. Guarantee. What do you think? 
I mean, you already know, okay? <laughs> so the idea behind the Rice Krispies is that they, as you're eating and enjoying them, the Rice Krispies start soaking up the, the chili glaze and chili sauce. And as you're eating the Rice Krispies, they take a little bit of that flavor with them. This is a 10 plus. Nice. It's got the flavor, it's got the spice, it's got the sweet. I see healthy stuff on here. I don't care what you say about fried. This is something everybody should eat. I agree. Is this vegetarian? It is. It is. And vegetarian. And vegetarian. Wow. It's actually vegan. You're feeding me well. And here we go with our salmon and our delicious burger. Wow. So I gotta tell you, this is a lot of food. I'm getting full. How am I gonna eat this by myself, you know? Do you need some help? Uh, I actually could use some help. Um, ha, look who we got here. Braylon Edwards. What's up, man? What's up, bro? Detroit How you doing? Bruce, man. He thought I was gonna let you eat in one of the best spots downtown Detroit and not invite me. I'm ready to eat. Are you kidding? Yes. And I gotta tell you, I've been having such a good time here. This food looks, it looks so amazing. good. So far, I have been blown away by the menu, the taste. Um, Gerti, the chef, everyone. Oh, this is the chef. Okay, we're good. We're good money then. You know the chef. I thought you were the chef. No, I'm You're just like, guy? you know, oh, this man. is just. See, I was excited. I would say just like take a bite of take your burger. Bite? That's okay. your burger for now. Roman. <laughs> and uh, I'll try the salmon right. and we'll see yeah. where we go with it, you know? Bon appetit. Let's see how it is, man. So we have uh, an amazing uh, Michigan, uh, Michigan Holstein beef patty in there, some pickles. Uh, what we call our burger sauce, which is a mayo with uh, some marzana tomatoes, some uh, lettuce, some Swiss cheese. It looks perfect. It fresh. I'm trying the salmon. What do you think? You can save it over there. Let's do it. <laughs> salmon, one of my favorites. Salmon is so healthy too. It is. Look at this. Mm. This is healthy too. You need good protein. Mm. The grass to have good protein. Mm. How is it? Let me tell you something. Is this it's salmon from Alaska or something? No, actually that one uh, coming from Scotland. Of course, so like, you know, because you think Alaska is the best, but really like you go all the way to Scotland to get your salmon. And then tell me about this. That is, uh, that's succotash. It's as, as simple as it might sound, but as delicious as it might sound. And then we uh, finish it with a lemon glaze and a spicy tomato jam on top. Dude, you're serving all the right stuff. Like I'm a picky eater, okay? okay. I already said it, I'm like meat and potatoes. But you got me out of my box today. This is meat and this is potatoes. It is, <laughs> but um, when they make salmon like this, right. all the way from Scotland, Scotland okay. how do you turn it down? All right, here's the deal, Braylon. So remember, I said I'm meat and potatoes, right? right. Like so potatoes. that means I want a burger. You can't have this one. Well, then we're gonna go make our own. Let's do it. Well, Let's I'm go good. in the kitchen. You make your own, I'll come out and sit. Yeah, come in kitchen, sit. let's meet chef. And uh, let's whip it up. Let's go make a burger, Braylon. Great, man. I'm here with Braylon Edwards, okay? I'm here with Bruce Wars, man. All American, NFL. I mean, the oh, accolades wow. keep going. So, do I need my chef gloves? And I gotta tell you, we made it into the kitchen. Okay. You don't need your chef's gloves. I'm with the chef, Nick, oh, right now. Like so I say we got too many cooks in the kitchen. You need to get out of here. I, I thought we were cool, It's man. cool, man. I still love you the same, bro. I love you too, All man. right, my man. Do you you think, take care, all right. Hey, don't let him burn down the kitchen. Man. Don't <laughs> let him burn it down. Get after it. But here's what we're first gonna do. We, we've got our toasted brioche buns. Yeah. Um, we've got our signature sauce that we make for our burgers. We call it burger sauce. Um, it's a, like yeah. a ro roasted tomato and uh, McClure's bread and butter pickle aioli. So we'll put a little bit of that down. Grab your towel. Here's your spatula. Grab this pan. It's hot on the okay. handle. Where Grab, am I going with it? You're, we're gonna bring it right over and put, place the burger right onto the bun. All right, so, burger. That one on the right on is, the bun. yep, that's for me. That's medium rare. Oh, yeah. And the one that's a little bit more cooked than that, that one's for you. Oh, cooked like to your it. liking. And uh, actually, we're gonna put it on this bottom on bun this right, here. right here. 
Yes, sir. All right, how'd I do? All right, looks great to me. This looks so we'll good. We'll put this right back. One more job for your, yes, your spatula. Sir. We need you to grab these uh, these onions. Okay. Right Should on. I put them on something? Yes. Put them right, right on so here. So onions, um, plate is a little warm. Yeah, so we, so we use charred sweet onions. We like to get them nice and nice and dark and a and, uh, little bit of a char on there. You got that down, see that? And uh, you can, I try to keep them in, in whole onion wheels and we can place one of those on each burger. So we go That's like this one. one, boom. Yep. All right, I am gonna personally eat this. Mmm, <laughs> oh, sweet. Yeah. I love it. So I like to do onions this way because it gets a little charred on the outside and stays, you know, nice and juicy and, and crunchy on the Probably inside. Do. Looks great. Good. We're gonna we're gonna place these pickles on and around the burger right after I put this romaine, and then we're gonna call this a day and enjoy these burgers. All right, I love pickles. Okay, that okay, I can say. You want four? Okay. And there's number four. All right, let's cap it up and enjoy these. If it taste half as good as it looks I am just in heaven so here's what I think we should do I think I think we should uh, cut these burgers in half okay and see what the inside looks can like. can I try cutting one absolutely you cut the you first one okay. show me how oh look at that that's like the perfect medium medium rare Look at that. What do you think about that? Okay, chef, it looks like it's time to eat. I think first thing is we get rid of these gloves. Sounds good to me. You know? And I'm dig hungry. into this burger. Me all too. Right. Even though I've been eating all day. But I gotta tell you, this looks so good. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. That's a good burger. I feel like like Guy Fieri. You know how he talks with food in his mouth and all that? <laughs> I always wanted to see what that guy's job was like. All right, well, this was great. I appreciate you know everything you've done and all this great food. Um, if you haven't been here, come to Besa at the corner of Congress and Woodward, right across from the Quicken Loans building. You know, like and subscribe on YouTube, of course, because there's more fire coming soon. Bon appetit. Thank you.